ReRankers is another awesome library by Jeremy Howard and his team at Answer AI. It provides a uniform API for re-ranking models like Mixbred, FlashRank, RankGPT, RankLLM, and more. Before we have a look at it, let's step back and consider why we need re-ranking. So in a RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation Pipeline, we'll typically do a vector or semantic search to get back relevant documents for our query. And we feed those to an LLM along with our question and it attempts to answer the question. With re-ranking, we still do that vector search, but maybe we're gonna get back more documents than we need. So maybe rather than getting back three, we're gonna get back 10. We then pass those documents as well as the query to a re-ranker and it will sort the documents into a better order. We then take the top N, so say three documents and provide those as context to the LLM. And the idea is that the three selected documents in this case will be more relevant than the initial documents selected by vector search. So with that out of the way, let's launch IPython and see how this works. So I'm gonna import from re-rankers the re-ranker class, and then we're gonna initialize it. We'll pass in a model name. We're gonna use the mixed bread or one of the mixed bread re-ranking models. And the first time that we run this, it's gonna pull it from the Hugging Face Hub. We'll tell it the model type, so cross encoder, that's optional. And then finally the device. So for me, that's gonna be MPS because I'm running it on a Mac. And you see it repeats back to us the options that we've chosen. Now we're gonna re-rank something. So we'll start with something simple. So let's say we have a query, I love you. And then we're gonna have some documents. So I hate you, I really like you, you're not too bad. And then we can also pass in some doc ID. So we'll just do something simple. So zero, one, and two, and then let's run it. And you can see it takes just under 300 milliseconds. If you run that same one again, it will be much faster. So maybe there's some sort of caching going on there. If we have a look at the results, you can see it sorted it. Probably this is the best order. So I really like you first, you're not too bad second, and then I hate you is in last place. Now I wanna give it a try on a retrieval data set I made with DuckDB around the Olympics opening ceremony. So I'm gonna import DuckDB and connect it to the olympics.duckdb database. I'll link to all the code in the description below yeah, if you wanna have a try yourself. Now let's run a query just to have a look what data we're working with. So you can kind of see it's basically paragraphs from an article written by the BBC explaining what happened in the Olympics opening ceremony a couple of months ago. I've made, then made a search class, which we can see here. So we're using a, a different mixed embed model to embed the query and which, and, and which we've used to embed uh, all those document chunks as well. And then we're gonna do a cosine similarity search to try and find the most relevant chunks or most relevant documents to match our query. Okay, so let's come back over to IPython, we're gonna import that search class and then we're gonna initialize it. Now, the question I wanna ask it is gonna see uh, is what things went wrong. And I want it to tell me about the arson attacks that happened on the morning of the opening ceremony or just on the night before. And then I want it to identify that Zidane's train broke down during the ceremony. So let's call vector search and we'll pass in the question. We're gonna say, get back 10 results and then fetch all of them. And then let's have a look what results we got. So you can see in first place, it's kind of talking about the miserable weather. If you remember, it rained uh, pretty much the whole time uh, that the opening ceremony was happening. Uh, but then it talks about it being brilliantly frenetic. And then it sort of talks about it being bizarre and it hasn't identified the arson yet. And if we have to scroll down quite a little bit, and then eventually we find something about Zidane's metro train breaking down. And then the next result after that is the arson attack. Let's see if the re-ranker can help us out here. So we're gonna again call ranker.rank, pass in our question, and this time we have to pull out the first tuple from the result for each row, and then the document IDs is the, basically the second, so I remember zero index, so get number one. And then let's run it, and you can see it takes about just over a quarter of a second to run. Now I've kind of played around with this and it does sort of seem to scale linearly depending on how many documents you give it to sort. So if we gave it, for example, 100, it's probably gonna take at least a, around a second uh, on my machine, but perhaps it's gonna work better if you've got better GPU uh, power than me. Let's have a look at the sorted results now. And you can see now it's bumped right to the top. The arson attack is the top result and then the Zidane Metro train is in second. So now you know how to improve retrieval, but how do you measure it? For that, check out this video here on evaluating the retrieval part of a RAG pipeline.